think I'm just going to head off to storage now. I don't know if this will record the whole time. We'll see. So I already know landing gear are stowed. Generator is turned off again. I was letting things charge um, because the dash said the battery was low. And Susan just has texted me to see if she should head over to the storage unit. I'm sad to be putting her in storage already, but we can't keep her in front of our house permanently. Maybe we'll bring her out every couple of days. Okay, so I just want to double check my route. Because one of the reasons I went ahead and decided to try this Cabela's is I think that I can just go back out the way I came in and then go to... Uh, you don't care about the route. I'm going to be hitting some small roads. Well, not tiny, but I hope. I haven't actually looked at them on Google Earth. Um, so we'll see. And I'm going to turn the radio way down so you don't have to listen to the radio because there's going to be enough noise already. All right, we are in neutral. Um, releasing the parking brake. That's pretty quiet. The other one was like, and the dog would go running for the back, and unfortunately he's not with me. All right, enough talking there. Ah. Uh, I don't want that blind down, so back into neutral. Sometimes this happens. I don't have... That's, that's got a loud too. I don't have a checklist. I need to have one until this just becomes so automatic I don't even have to think about it. Alright. Brake. Parking brake. Off. Turbo thrusters on. Nobody's around me. Let's go. Let's go drive around the parking lot for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and turn because or wiggle the bus. Because I need the practice. And we go into reverse. Still nobody is behind us or next to us. And I wish I had a horizon line to look at so I could get the mirrors just right. I don't. Um, I know, I tend to chew on my lip and do that a lot, I guess. Sorry. Make sure nobody's coming, because if I hit them or they hit me, there will be a big kaboom. Where is my butt? Alright. Came in from the right. Oh, wow, that's a lot of traffic. Alright, while I wait, you can watch me eat a cookie. And I'm not gonna eat much, because I want to save some for Susan. She doesn't know I have one. Ah! No profit. And off we go. I really do like driving this thing. You know it's big, but it's also thin. Smelt. She is smelt. Um, I guess one reason I'm saying um so much is I'm concentrating on talking to you people. It doesn't come naturally. So anyway, she's thinner than the other one. She fits better in the lane. And I suspect they were able to do that because of all the slide outs. So they weren't trying to cram as much space into the fixed box as they had to with sports coach. And so they could make her a little thinner. Now that's pure guesswork on my part. So anyway, it makes it a lot more comfortable to drive on city streets. She's got plenty of power. She's got maneuverability. She's felt. So yeah, maybe we should name her Faye. Faye Ray. Faye Ray was felt. The more that I say Faye, the more likely it'll stick for me. I don't know if Susan's been using it. But I have been spending more time in the bus. Um, I washed her face earlier, because there were bugs all over it. And I washed the... Um, oh, that light didn't need to be on. I washed the um, skylights, because they were just covered with dust. I looked outside from the office window and went, Ugh. Now the rest of the roof is still dirty. I wasn't going to do anything about that. But I was really happy to go up there and look at the seals, and they look 
Well, they don't look brand new, but I don't see a crack on them. I don't know when they last sealed whatever cracks there might have been, but it was recently enough that the roof looks wonderful. Now, I know that the previous owners uh, had her in storage for a while. I don't know exactly how long. And that helps. I think it was covered storage. See, this is why I have to write the turns down. Maybe I have to wait until I get to a, a stoplight. But now that I want one, I'm not going to get one. I also need to pay attention to my speed and where people are and the trees. They seem to be trimming the trees pretty good here. Trees. Ah, I think we were okay. Sorry. There will be a brief delay. Uh, oh, schnauzer! Don't crash the bus. The cute little black and white salt and pepper, whatever you want to call it, schnauzer. Sorry, there will be a brief map inch. All right, I guess I'll take Lucas Road. Lucas, remember that for me. There's a car behind me, and the map is half blank. I'll have to mess with that later. At least I did figure out how to turn up the volume on the rear camera. The previous owners didn't know how to do that. So I win. It's not really a contest. But if you can hear that, that's the sound of my engine. <laughs> well, it's the sound of her engine. My engine doesn't make nearly as much noise. It sounds like a big truck. I'm gonna turn that right back down. Okay, this is a little tiny road. One lane each direction. But really, I would have to take these everywhere. I got plenty of room on the right. Plenty of room on the left. I love this bus. I love this bus. So in case you're wondering where I am, oh look, a Walmart. Um, I'm headed for Wiley, which is about a half hour drive, in theory, from where we live to where the girl will live for a while, for a few days, hopefully no more than a few days. This is where I need to turn. And of course the guy behind me was on the phone. Butterfly just hit my windshield. I hope he's okay. I think it was a previous owner that called it a windscreen. And I suppose that's technically more accurate because it's not going to shield you. It will shield you from wind, but it's not going to shield you really from something that's flying, unless it's a butterfly. So I can't really turn the camera and I don't have another one going. But we are passing something called the Parker Lake Estates, and I see cute little houses. There's one that could be 50 years old, and there's another one that's probably 20. And then empty land, I'm wondering where are the estates? And there's something, a business by the side of the road, a few grass fed hamburgers. Why are they feeding hamburgers grass? So I told Susan not to hurry, that I'd be going slow. Sorry. Actually, it's okay. I kind of want to get there early so I can scope out the place and maybe even park the girl. Ah! My cookie just took a dive. That was the air horn. There was nobody nearby. I wanted to see how hard I needed to press it. I sort of played with it earlier when we passed by another friend's house, and I wasn't able to stop, but I was able to hunt the horn a few times. Play with my seat while... Seat up and down. Oh. Ah, that's different. Oh. Okay. PC's kind of noisy. 
whirring noise you may hear um, is the AC kicking in. Wow, oh, that's my turn. This is weird. Oh. Alright then. There's a dilapidated barn over there. Stop and take artistic moves. Except it's just a white barn with a tin roof. There's a cute little yellow building here. There's a cute little yellow house across the road. Uh, doesn't seem to be a business. So I just passed by a mailbox that said John Deere and it was all green and it looked like a tractor and stuff and it made me wonder is what's happening here? So it made me wonder, is the person really fond of John Deere? Or are they a John Deere dealer? Which made me wonder, should I run over the mailbox? Because they've been doing some nasty things to their customers. Putting a DRM on the tractors so they can't even maintain their own tractors. Nasty. Anyway. Okay, so now we are in Lucas. So now I'm going through properties where you could leave an RV on your property. And this would be fine for us now because I'm retired. Except that if we had an RV, well, we have an RV, uh, I'd want to go be out using it. So these are you know, people who we get or whatever, which is fine. That's what you want. But, Don't know if we'll full time, but we definitely want to mothball our house and travel for a bit. The other people behind me are going, please go faster. We'll check my speed in a minute, but I still don't know how I should handle curves in this. So it's basically got a wheelbase of something like. 6 inches, 98, maybe 100, I don't know. And um, I just don't know how I should, how slow I should take various turns. It's like an automobile, you get a sense of that pretty quickly. I am going to have to turn left soon. Gotta go back out. All right, we're gonna go around and wiggle. So now we're uh, going down a single track road that's not well maintained. And who knows, perhaps Susan will find me. All right, I'm not sure where I'm gonna turn around. We're going in the grass. This is a region, reasonably flat spot. Can I do this? That looks like a fence. Okay, my backup camera says I'm about to hit a fence. Mark One eyeballs are going to go out and take a look. So I wonder. Do that from here, or am I just going to get stuck? I have to practice backing up. I know my seatbelt's not on right now. Now there's a sort of a cul-de-sac, so I'm going to guess that somebody planned for 
not a 40 foot RV coming through. But they plan for people having to turn their shit around. First, I'm going to go ahead and put my seatbelt back on. Hope Springs Eternal. It's getting really windy here. We got a storm coming in. And we're right up against a tree. Sealing this. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, drive. to wiggle again! Let's not run into those trees! Alright. Anonymous person who thought to put a widening here. Thank you. Yeah, it is getting pretty dark. So I'm going to guess that the sign up ahead said, not here, turn here, but turn down there. And it's very confusing when they have a sign just before a road that the sign has an arrow going left and it's the thing you're looking for. Don't go left here. Go left at the road you haven't gotten to yet. And I really shouldn't complain too much. This was an educational experience. And there's a ton of cars here, so it's like a little tiny house. What are you people doing there? Of course, what the hell? Uh, somebody's operating their own junkyard. And I'll bet you anything, somebody in one or more of those houses is thinking, you're in the wrong place. Alright. I'm going to recheck. Yeah, I need to go two streets. turned onto a street that had a full amount of traffic. But still, I like driving the girls, so whatever. And I also have the advantage that I have no place that I need to be. Well, except the storage place. All right, I'm going. And you, sir, can just wait.
RV storage place coming up because I see a bunch of houses. We're here. That was slow. But I did get lots of practice in driving. What's her name? I'll be back. Don't leave without me. And away we go. Oh, and Susan's over there now. She got here same time I did. Did I just hit that? Yeah. 